We gave you 51 days to try to talk him out, and you couldn't do it. For Gary, Waco was one of the more traumatic events in his career, I think. And he's also trying to figure out what next. Hi, my name's Gary. Who am I speaking with? People call me Wild Bill. I think what's really interesting about this scene and this element of the show is unwrapping the wider ramifications that the Waco massacre led to. Somebody has to fight back. You can only push people so far. There are a lot of militia groups in the country that are sowing the seeds of dissent, and uh, he knows that it's important to keep an eye on that. Yeah, payback's coming. It's coming sooner than you think. Weren't you, uh... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've met. Jacob and Gary are both reeling from what happened to them, and, and, and also how they became sort of pariahs 15 years of loyalty for what? For what? Hey, hey, get your hands off me, man. What Jacob went through was probably the most traumatic of the law enforcement side because he infiltrated the group and really developed very strong feelings for the group. Why'd you ask me here? I think we helped create the monster we're trying to stop. You know, there's this idea that they're called the Branch Davidians, and you think of them as an insular group that was started by David Crush, when in fact, they were around for 50 years before he showed up. He was, uh, you know, 19 years old at the time. He was very shy, lacked confidence, and we found that to be a really interesting place to start with him. We first meet Vernon Howell in Mount Carmel, where he goes to actually learn from a new messiah named Lois Roden. He comes from a very troubled past. Vernon feels an immediate connection to Mount Carmel itself. I think he feels God is there, and he wants to do everything he can so that he doesn't have to leave. I think the most shocking thing, the, the, the instantly impressive thing to someone like Lois is his encyclopedic knowledge of the scriptures and the Bible. I mean, it's as if he knows the whole Bible by heart. It really gives him quite a lot of credibility straight away. I never saw it before, but she's mentioned all over the Old Testament. Proverbs 31:25. She is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. Proverbs 31.10, she is far more precious than jewels. How do you feel about people who join extremist religious groups? I do have negative feelings towards people who give their sense of choice over to false prophets. At the beginning of the trial, we know people hate us. We know people think we're crazy. We know there's enormous factions of people out there who think David Koresh was brainwashing us and making us do things we didn't want to do. I think that was one of the interesting challenges for the defense team was to go, okay, so obviously these people have made, made up their minds, but as a defense attorney, I have to show them facts and be demonstrative enough to, to change their mind. You're not going into this with people going, okay, so what's going on here? There's a lot of vitriol because what we were told then was that these people were hoarding weapons, um, that they were violent, that they all had a death wish, and that they were abusing their children. So I think, you know, in 1993, when we watched the news, the assumption was that that was it. That was the end of the story. I believe, especially during the trial, Livingstone was very committed to David. For the Davidians, God is far beyond and far greater than any of man's laws or any of the things that men can create. It's our job to do what's right, and it's God's job to sort out the rest. Okay then, let's go give them hell. Only on Showtime, and now stream Showtime on Paramount+. Plus.